What's up guys? Today we're going over the Kimura Trap. The Kimura isn't just a submission, it's also a dominant grip that you can use to take backs, go for submissions, and more. What I consider the Kimura Trap to specifically be is when you force your opponent's back onto the mat. And if they turn away from you to defend, you shoot your knee between their elbow and knee to take their back. And if they turn towards you or do nothing, then you just come up to the Kimura submission itself or a variation. I'm going to show you how to do that plus more to form a complete system of attack. This video will be broken down into four parts. Essential details, entries from the bottom, entries from the top, and submissions. But first, I'd like to quickly tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Brevity. Brevity makes awesome backpacks. I absolutely love the one they sent me. It's my new camera bag for a reason. It's awesome. There's so many compartments and it fits my camera perfectly. They also have really nice everyday backpacks. Go to brevity.co slash Jordan Teaches Jiu Jitsu or use code Jordan Teaches at checkout to receive 10% off your first order. All right, let's get started with the key details. You can take a Kimura grip anytime you see the open elbow, which is when the elbow is not glued to the body. But remember, we'll go into specific entries later in the video. Grabbing with your thumb is the best initial control of the wrist, but then you want to take a monkey grip, which is a grip without your thumb and provides more power and it's a much stronger grip when the Kimura grip is locked in. If your opponent doesn't defend, you can just finish them with the submission itself, but in most cases they'll try and stop you by preventing their arm from going behind their back. This is where the Kimura trap comes in. It's essential to keep their wrist above their elbow and posture broken by keeping their shoulder down. This will prevent counters and ensure you have optimal control. He needs to drop his elbow between my arms to escape, but with these concepts employed, that's not going to happen. Now let's look at bottom entries. I'm sure there's more, but this is what I use in my system and what I consider high percentage. Let's get started with one of my favorite entries. I just call this the Kimura sweep, where you roll your partner over their shoulder to sweep them. Mike turns towards me, so in this case, I just go to the Kimura submission itself, which again, I'll go over in detail later in the video. You want to pull your opponent onto you as you also scoot your hips underneath them. Now their weight is loaded onto your hips. This is essential to make it easy and not have to muscle it. Now we bump them forward with our inside leg and push off the mat with the other. In this case, Mike turns away from me and now I can slide my knee between his knee and elbow to take his back. Think about pressing their wrist into their stomach so you can push them over with it. I really want you to pay attention to how I shoot my hips underneath him. We talk about loading the hips all the time on the channel, it makes all the difference. Here's some rolling footage. I pull my opponent's weight onto my hips and now it's easy. He's going for a ride. Sometimes you'll go for this and either your opponent is bigger or stronger or has great base or just reacted well to this. Then your butterfly hook is going to help for extra power and lift. Really watch how I shoot my knee through that space for the back take. In this rolling footage, my opponent has about 20 pounds on me. Nothing crazy, but as you can see, I utilize my butterfly hook to get the job done. When you're actually trying to submit your opponent but they roll through, it mimics this sweep. It's important to have options for all possibilities, that's why the Kimura Trap is so effective. A cool option for when your opponent is sitting back and you can't get the sweep is to release your guard and spin through to the back. See how my opponent is sitting so far back? I'm not going to be able to load his weight onto my hips. It's absolutely essential to keep their wrist above their elbow. Think about pushing their wrist into their belly to drop them into your lap. If you don't prioritize this and preventing the shoulder from posturing up, you will get armbarred. The counter to this move is to beat the elbow positioning and spin around for the armbar. This is actually how GSP got armbarred by Matt Hughes in their first fight. Another technique you can use when your opponent is sitting too far back to Kimura sweep them is to shrimp out and put the foot in the hole by their hips. To pull their arm out, bring your chest to their elbow so when you pull, it's the strength of your body rather than just your arms. I prefer the arm bar just because you somewhat lack the range of motion for the Kimura and nothing is really stopping them from rolling through, which is fine for the arm bar. If they roll through, the arm bar is still right there for you. You can also climb up to the back from here, especially if you can't get the arm out. The back is a really good option. And now let's look at entries from the top, and again, there's definitely more entries. You don't have to memorize every single entry, just look for the open elbow. From half guard, when your opponent has a shallow underhook, you can switch your hips and lock up the Kimura grip, then roll over your shoulder and right into the trap. In this rolling footage, you can see I use the assistance of my other knee to help pry my leg out. He starts to come up, so I prioritize that wrist and elbow positioning. Instead of taking the back, I go right into the armbar. Sometimes your leg will get stuck and that's okay, no big deal. We have a very dominant grip on them with that Kimura grip. We can just work towards prying that leg out. They're not going anywhere and they can't defend forever. 
It's the same entry from side control, I mean you could just attack the submission itself from here, but maybe you prefer the back to attack from and feel like it'll be the path of least resistance. You can put those boring jujitsu warmups to use. You can grab their wrist and do a front roll as you secure your wrist. You can do this from many open guards, you just gotta find the open elbow. Watch my opponent's elbow. It's open. That's why I could go for this. And now, let's see which way he'll turn. Away from me. Now I can take his back. <laughs> it's nice letting your opponent choose their fate. You can counter the single leg with the Kimura trap. All you gotta do is launch them forward using your trap leg as a butterfly hook. Watch how I hop forward and step behind him with my other leg. This brings my hips closer and underneath him, loading his weight onto my hips like we do for sweeps. Remember that sometimes your leg may get stuck, but whenever something's stuck in jujitsu, we must pry it out. That's one of my 20 tips in my 20 tips video. In this move, we basically reverse who has the Kimura by bringing our body over top of their elbow, and then switch our grips to a Kimura grip. It's super effective, but you need to be careful with this as to not hurt your opponent. Their arm ends up in a pretty stuck position, so go slow and always prioritize partner safety. See how I raise my body over top of my opponent's elbow? I can do this because he wasn't keeping my shoulder down good enough. If he would've watched this video first, maybe that wouldn't have happened. But I guess that's impossible. <laughs> but now he knows his mistake, and guys remember to be careful. Practice this first. It's only a risk if you're reckless. Don't be reckless, be a good training partner. Now let's look at finishes, whether your opponent turns away from you or turns towards you, there's plenty of submissions available. People often think of the Kimura submission as a strongman move, but in reality it's not. What's hard is breaking the defensive grips. So I'll give you techniques on how to do that, plus what you can do if you can't break the grips. Always go slow in finishing submissions. You'll develop better control and understanding, plus you won't hurt your partner, and that's super important to me and everyone. All right, let's look at submissions first from when your opponent turns away from you. You have really good and dominant grips for submissions, so you might as well use them. We'll start with my favorite, the triangle. All you have to do is hook your leg over their shoulder and then drop your knee down to change your angle, then figure four your legs. You want to tuck your leg behind the back to hide it and prevent the escape. This angle will crush Mike's throat and not choke him very good. As you can see, when I compress my legs, the force will go to the middle of the neck instead of the side. Arteries are on the side of the neck and that's how blood goes to the brain. Look what happens when I adjust my knee positioning. My calf goes in line with his neck and the force will go to the side of the neck as it should. As you can see in this rolling footage, I bring my leg over the shoulder, pull his elbow to my chest, drop my knee to the ground, and then lock up the figure four. Now to finish, I want to push his neck into my calf. I do that by shrimping my butt out and use my body to push the back of his head, which forces my shin into the neck. You can grab the arm or the legs to help you do this. You can also do an arm bar by hooking over the shoulder just like the triangle. Hooking in the inner elbow helps you with your angle. In this rolling footage, look how I hook my heel onto the inner elbow, which allows me to go from square on his back into more of an armbar angle. Now I just need to break the grips to get the finish, but that's a subject for a future video. Another armbar entry you can use is to use your forearm to push their head as you swing your leg over their face. This is actually how I won my first MMA fight. This armbar is definitely special to me because of that. Now let's look at when your opponent turns towards you. The Kimura submission itself is a great option. You want to bring both legs over their head and put your knees on the mat. The problem with the Kimura is that it's hard to grip fight without letting go of the Kimura grip first, making it hard to break their defensive grips. I never try to finish from here because look at the lack of range of motion to actually get the tap. Plus I'm leaving his hand too close to his other hand and he might re-grip. What I recommend instead is just to prioritize getting the hand behind the back and your elbow on the mat. Now he can't re-grip and it's checkmate. I turn my hips towards his head and lift up on his arm to give me lots of room and range of motion. <laughs> Once his hand is behind his back, I know I'm getting the submission, so that's what I prioritize. You shouldn't be in a rush and make mistakes. Be disciplined and utilize these tips. Look at the space I make for myself by lifting up on the arm. Now the mat's not in the way of the submission. You don't have to bring your knees over their head, you can also use your body weight to isolate their shoulder and finish the same way. If I can't break defensive grips or I just want to, I'll transition to the armbar instead by popping up to my feet and changing my angle. In this rolling footage, because my opponent is bigger by a little bit, I know breaking the armbar defensive grips will be easier than breaking the Kimura defensive grips. I'm strategic, I'm not just a pretty face, although he doesn't give me much resistance on this anyways. One of the best ways to break the defensive grips is to swing your leg over to their back so you can pry their arm out using your hamstring. 
If you want style points, you can finish with the one arm Kimura by grabbing the palm and bringing their hand closer to their head. My name is Jordan Pressinger and my goal is to teach you how to grapple, not just specific jiu-jitsu techniques. So if that's what you're looking for, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe button and all that and I appreciate it. I'd like to thank all my patrons who support the channel. I super appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. If you're still here, please leave a comment or fist bump and I'll see you guys next time.